Welcome back to a new video. I'm Max from Sketch App TV and we will be taking a look at a plugin for Sketch today. Uh, the name of the plugin is basically Unsplash It. And what it does is, um, you can see it in the animation right here, we simply uh, create a rectangle in Sketch and then we can uh, replace the rectangle with an actual photo from Unsplash. So now we simply uh, download the plugin. The link will also be down in the description for you. Um, we click download zip, we click OK, and then we just download it here. I think that this will be uh, pretty useful for me because I'm using uh, unsplash photos on a daily basis in my designs and so on. So yeah. For example, uh, imagine we are having a design. Let's choose the normal iPhone 6 one, for example. And we have uh, a rectangle, like a header graphic that we have here. And we want to replace it with a photo. Then we simply um, create the rectangle, of course. Then we go to um, plugins, manage plugins. And here we have a little icon uh, that gets us the folder of the plugins. And I already have Magic Mirror in here, where I already made a video about. And then we simply drag and drop our Unsplash uh, plugin to this folder. There we have it. Um, that's it. Simply let's go back to Sketch. And we have it right here. Plugins, Unsplash, it's for Sketch. And you can say simply Unsplash it. And there we have a nice header graphic. Um, but we can also unsplash it with options. So we can say we can uh, grayscale it, no. We want it to be blurred, no. Um, and we can also say the cropping graffiti, but we don't want to do this right now. So we have it right here. It's a really good plugin because, as I said, I'm using uh, Unsplash photos for like every design I make to have nice example graphics um, to show off some of the content that will be in containers and so on. And I, I, I can only recommend you uh, using real photos for your designs because it's just better for getting a real impression of how the design will look later on. And this plugin is pretty much a nice thing to um, move forward in the design process. And I think it does its job pretty well. You see, it's just easy to add photos to it. You can also uh, add shadows, get rid of the borders. You can also get rid of the f uh, filling uh, photo, of course. And yeah. I think that's just an amazing way to move on quicker in design. So yeah, that's it. A little short video for today, but um, I think it's just okay and cool as well to show you some of the plugins that are existing in the community. Um, so be sure to uh, check out the link in the description and to be testing the plugin and if you liked the video, just give, give me a thumb up or subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And we see us next Monday. Thanks.